to Soho Trent and the world. This is Six Towns Radio. Chills Bar, Baisley, sponsors of Port Vale content on Six Towns Radio. Cole Dickerton, first of all, welcome to Port Vale. Thank you. Uh, it's your first day here today, but what's your decision to actually join the club? <coughs> Games, at the end of the day. I wanted to play football and I've been offered that opportunity and I'm really grateful that uh, you know I've been offered to come and play games and at the end of the day, I'm going to come here, make sure I do well and make sure I'm putting 110% out on that pitch on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. Of course, the Stoke connection, you asked this loads of mm-hmm. times because you played for Stoke City, um, you were part of that promotion team yep. that uh, went up to the Premier League. In fact, you set up the first Premier League goal, didn't you, for Stoke? Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, against Bolton. Yeah, across the ball for Ricardo Fuller. Yeah. Yeah, so. um, yeah, happy days that was, yeah. <laughs> so some of the fans at Stoke will wish you 100% success here mm-hmm. in Port Vale. Because I think 10 years ago the rivalry was there, but yeah. now, because they're not playing each other on a regular basis, mm-hmm. it's sort of gone, hasn't it? Um, oh, to be honest, I mean, obviously I was at Stoke, but there was never, I was never really told much about the rivalry, to be mm-hmm. honest. I mean, I know it was there, but like I say, I mean... At the end of the day, I'm a football. I want to play football, and it could have been any other team. You know, it just happens to be Port Vale. But I'm really happy to be here, and I'm really ready to get going. Yeah, knowing Chris Virgil as well was that one of the deciding factors? Um, no, not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you didn't nah, twist I'm, your arm. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm a good. I'm a good. Uh, I get on well with Chris. Um, you know, our families get on well with each other. And um, no, I, I mean, biggest thing that sold it to me was being able to play football and the vision Mickey had for the for the team and where he wanted the club to go. And you know, I want to be a part of that, and I want to make sure that I'm part of something, you know, that could ha- be good could happen here. Mm-hmm. And I want to be a part of that. You're only 26. A lot of people forget that. I think you're much older because you've been around yeah. most long. But you're 26, uh, and uh, coming to a club that had just been recently promoted, mm-hmm. um, that the heads are high. Yeah, it uh, could be a positive start for you again. Yeah, I mean that was that was uh, another thinking behind my decision as well. Um, you know, uh, you can you can see from you know the lads training that they are on a high. They are all confident. And uh, I think that's only going to stand us in good stead, ready for the start of the season. Yeah, you were a championship player with Watford, but of course you've got League One experience with Portsmouth and also Coventry. Coventry. So you've got that League One experience, and it is a different division than the championship. But yeah. there is similarities between uh, League One and League Two, but there's a lot of better teams than League One. Obviously, that's why they're there. Yeah, I mean, like I said, there's nothing. From what I've seen, there's nothing. There's nothing to fear. There's no reason why we can't go and win games. And you know, I'm. I, I think the lads believe that, I know the staff believe that, and I'm sure come August the 3rd everyone will be you know, ready and making sure, obviously it's going to be a tough game against Brentford, they were you know, in the playoffs last season, uh, they've got a good squad up there, um, you know, he's got a really organised team, roster has, so uh, it's going to be a tough first match, but there's no reason why we can't go and you know, start off with a win. Well, there's a massive fan base here at Port Vale. You know, <laughs> they were floundering in League Two for a few seasons. You know, they were a championship team 15 years ago. So, you know, there's that um, sort of platform to jump back on, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you see Norwich have done it. Mm-hmm. Norwich get promoted successive seasons, so you never know. It could happen here. You could go down history if that happened as the only player, I reckon, who's played for Port Vale and Stoke who's had promotion. I can't think of another and somebody's going to phone up the radio station and tell me <laughs> But that could happen. You were born in Nottingham. Mm-hmm. Not Derby, as no. it says on Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good Forest fan. Yeah. Would that be the ideal team for you to play for? Have you never really um, uh, you, you never know. I'm sure my family would love me to play yeah. for Forest. I mean, you know, it, it, it would be it would be um, fantastic if I ever did. Um, but I'm, I'm not thinking that far ahead. I'm only thinking about you know this season and what uh, what I can bring to the table. Time by Mickey Adams. You played under some great managers, some different managers. Mm-hmm. How will he compare? Do you think? Um, like to be honest, um, from what I've seen, he just tells me how it is, and you know I, pre- I prefer it that way. And you know he seems. Uh, you know the type of manager that knows what he wants, uh, organised, uh, wants the lads, you know, to give everything in training. You know, from this first training session, you can see that he really wants the lads to work hard. <laughs> and um, you know, I love it that way. I think you should always train the way you yeah. play. And um, like I said, I mean, uh, I know 
from speaking to a few of the lads already that you know they can't wait for the season to get going. There's going to be competition for places, of course. Uh, Jonesy plays in the same position yep. as you, and uh, you could push up to midfield. You played there before. You've actually scored three goals in your career. I think two for <laughs> what for one for Barnsley. Uh, are you hoping to increase that tally? Maybe I'd love to. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to be able to. But at the end of the day, my first job's to stop their players from scoring and give it to the people that can actually do the business <laughs> um, if I can chip in with the odd goal myself then happy days yeah well uh, good luck with it all and, thank uh, you very you much know, hope you get a game in under your belt this weekend yeah. of course Alfredton and Leek uh, the next couple yeah. of games and that will give you a chance to see the fans and, and yeah. all the other players play together in a match yeah definitely <laughs> cheers mate no cheers